So you've given us a great background summary of this company now called Reva and the idea of having a prepackaged home theater. Almost <laughs> the, the term that keeps coming to me is home theater in a box. But instead of, you know, yeah. a ch cheap AVR and some cheap speakers and some wires, uh, we're talking about a complete home theater, including seating and acoustics and uh the screen design and, the, and technology the design and everything everything um correct and uh it, it's really quite a remarkable idea and i that's why i wanted to bring you on the show to talk about because you know for those of us who don't have unlimited funds to custom to have a home theater custom designed this is i think uh quite an attractive alternative um and so there are certain packages that you offer and certain floor plans that are sort of predetermined depending upon, you know, what, what you've got to work with in the home that, that it's going to be installed in. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a picture of some of the floor plans I wanted to show, um, which you label small, medium, large, and extra large. Extra large. Yeah, let's take a look at those, uh, at those graphics. Uh, so just tell us a little bit about, about each of these as they come up here. This one's small. So I guess it's only what, two seats or four seats. It's four seats, two lab seats, just because the space, um, this is a theater that was developed in response to having seen that a lot of new homes have what they call a bonus room that is usually not bigger than 12 by 16, 12 by 15. Uh, so we kind of took the idea the design that the, the six designs that we came and we kind of squeeze them into that smallest possible room that's out there. Less than that, it's not a theater, it's a, it's a master closet, I guess. So <laughs> that's a theater. <laughs> All right. And then as we go up in size, we get the medium. And here we, we go get two. to the medium. It's 14 by 16 to 14 by 21. And that has six seats. And then we go to the next one, which is uh, large. a large, and it has, I think it has uh, eight seats. Uh, and then we go to the extra large, which is uh, uh, how many seats? Ten seats? No. It, that's, it's a, uh, it, looks like, it looks like eight right there, but I bet you could fit ten, no problem. No, you can put five, ten seats. The idea is to create a pattern, a design that can be stretched to fit different size rooms without altering the design DNA. It's very similar to go, going to Bloomingdale's and buying an Armani, shoes, an Armani suit. You may be a, a six foot guy and the suit is made for a, a six foot two guy. So you get to the tailor, the tailor shortens the, sle the sleeves, shorten the legs, and it allows you to have a, a suit that is Armani design, but it fits your body. The same thing if you have a very small body, if you have a very big body and a, and a small suit, you enlarge the suit. So the idea of the room is to have design elements on the wall that first do not touch the floor, the ceiling and the side walls. So if the room is two inches shorter than what we see here in the floor plans, it doesn't really affect the design because the design, and that's the basic principle of, of Reva sits on the wall like a work of art, art like a painting, uh, taking up a lot of real estate on the wall, but not the entire wall. Uh, the design elements, which we're going to see a little later, are meant to perform three functions. A, to hide the surround speakers. B, to provide um, acoustical treatments that turn the room from a black box to something that performs accordingly with the technology in the room. And the third function of the design is to give the room the design flair. Those elements hang on the wall, the front wall, the, excuse me, the front wall is the screen, the side wall, the left side, the rear side, the, the right side and the rear. And they are illuminated by a track light in the ceiling, just like you illuminate artwork in a gallery. Mm -hmm. No intricate light on the ceiling, no very precise location of high hats. If they don't hit the, the particular target on the wall, you don't have the good lighting. No, the lights are there and you can move the track lights to illuminate the, the artwork, which is in this case, the design elements. Uh, so you bring out the best, you know, picture of its, uh, of the best quality of, uh, of what is hanging on the wall. Now, mm -hmm. 
Uh, these designs come in six, uh, not configuration of shapes, but in six design elements. We, uh, we created about 12, 13 designs, and I'll talk about them. We took them to the show and we asked uh, uh, the thousands of, of, of guests that we have to select which ones they would like to see in their home. Uh, so we, uh, we finalized a lineup with six designs, the ones that were voted most popular are, uh, by, by, the, by the builder community. Some of my favorite designs, well, I guess they were very ambitious, but a bit the dust, I had the design where the room was photographs of vegetables. What was I thinking of? Zucchini <laughs> and cauliflower <laughs> and cucumbers. Well, when I saw this design, it was very beautiful. It was artwork, actually. But when I saw it two days before the show, I said, I am going to take it down because people will reach to the tomatoes on the, on the artwork and will pelt me. They won't understand <laughs> what I'm trying to do. So anyway, what we left with were six designs, three of which are, one of them is uh, abstract shapes that create like a visual geometrical uh, motif on the walls. The other design is uh, seascapes, uh, images well, let's, of Let's take a look at these. Let's take a look. While, yeah, while yeah. you're talking uh, about you, them, let's take a look. This is, uh, if you can see the, uh, this one is the third that I was going to discuss. Uh, the, uh, my friend says, you know, you've done a lot of this. Why don't you do a, a, a wall with Theo's greatest hits? So I took pictures of my theaters from my books and I created panels that show highlights of the best work that I've done. Mm -hmm. So this is, is called theaters. Uh, let's see another one, and I'll tell you what the other ones are. Right. Let's take a look here. Um, okay. Uh, this okay. Is, this is the same one, but from a different again. view. Yes. These are acoustical panels, actually. Uh, uh, this is a little, this is the other group of three. We could, the, third, the second group of three are sports related. We have three sports, uh, baseball, football and basketball uh, illustrated with licensed images of generic pictures of that sport. Uh, those generic pictures are going to be, this is basketball, what we see. This no, generic no pictures, this is baseball. I don't see very well because it's a small screen, but these pictures now that come with the price of the theater, the theater is 78,000. It includes any of the things you want, but there is an upgrade. If you want to select, let's say this is baseball, and you want to have a New York Yankees theme baseball, we have a relationship. We're creating a relationship with the with the licensing um, uh, aspect of New York Yankees, so you can actually see Derek Jeter or whoever else mm. uh, is actually, or the logo of the New York Yankees. And then we have a third level, the same sports in theater. This is the shapes. What you saw there is the what I described first: abstract shapes that are floating off the wall in various distances from the wall, three inches, six inches, four inches, to mm. create a more dimensional uh, 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 illustration on the wall. So it's not just photographs, but they're floating panels that give what my regular theaters have, a sense of three-dimensional dimensionality. Mm -hmm. so, so new theaters will be, uh, new themes will be added uh, every so often. This is the seascape. There's, you see elements of seed, umbrellas, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, what do you have? Anchors, uh, yeah, sunsets. Chains, that, that kind of stuff. Yes, like this thing, corals. Uh, uh, come March, we're opening the designs of the room to competitions that will be conducting in association with CEDIA and ASAD inviting young designers to come up with their own ideas. Oh, that's a great idea. To that's be, wonderful. To be an evolving forum of design ideas. I wish I had not done the first designs myself. I don't see Reva as my playground for new designs. I've been doing that for a lot of uh, many years. I want to see new voices, new ideas coming into the market. And we, Reva wants to curate them.